I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 322 brought to you by Drobo. One, two, For years, I've wondered why we don't see computers built into furniture. To me, it makes a whole lot of sense. I know individual case modders have done their own projects, but I've been looking for something actually for sale. A company called Pairing Systems has a product they seem to be trying to bring to market. It's called MediaCore, and it's a computer system built into a wooden enclosure large enough to also house additional AV equipment. I think the box is beautiful, but my favorite part is how the PC components slide right out when you're ready to do maintenance and upgrades. Unfortunately, based on the information on the company's website, they seem to be way behind in actually offering the tables for sale. The the YouTube video says they'll be available in July of last year. And if you click the how to buy button, the page says pre-orders will be taken up until September 17th. Shipping will begin shortly thereafter. It's a great idea and I've got my fingers crossed. My interest in tech started in kind of an unusual way. When I was little, we didn't have a lot of tech in the house. We didn't have computers. We didn't even have a TV for a long period of time. But my mom had a word processor and she typed really fast. I wanted to grow up to be as fast as her typing. <laughs> Something I saw today reminded me of that. It's called a USB, well, I feel the need to say wait for it. It's a USB typing speedometer. It registers speeds from zero to 260 words per minute and gives you a daily word count. Very cute idea. Is it even humanly possible to type 260 words per minute? With all the talk about setting music free from DRM, it still came as a surprise to me today to hear that Penguin, the book publisher, will soon offer audiobooks without DRM. I'm extremely impressed with the company's chief executive, Marjorie Scardino. She said, I don't think we can be worried about every incursion from electronic selling and electronic use. We've got to think about what the future is going to be and look at how to experiment with it. When do you ever hear a CEO talking about experimenting with a business model? Usually fear rules over decisions like this, so companies lock everything down to hold on to as much as possible without taking into account the needs of their customers. Way to go, Marjorie. By the way, she also uses the phrase, piece of kit. I think I'd like to meet her. I keep looking at what kind of technology is being incorporated into RVs to see if anything I find is brief worthy. At the Dallas RV show, I toured a Winnebago Vectra, and here's what I found. I'm sitting here lounging on the couch of the Vectra RV, and it's soft, comfy. Cool thing about it? Take a look at this. It folds out into a queen bed. All right, this is my first time doing it. Let's see how, how good I am. All right, so we pull this out all the way. This lifts up uh, like that, and then motorized. And this is just gonna fold out. If, if you don't push it down, it kind of goes up like that, but okay. <laughs> and built-in kind of pillow here. So you've got a bed. Do the other side and it's comfortable. <laughs> Not exactly as awe-inspiring as the Atom processor from Intel, but I thought it was groovy in an old James Bond kind of way. Dave Peterson from GadgetyTech.com just ordered his first Mac. He already has a Drobo dedicated to Windows storage, and he asked if he could get a second Drobo for Mac storage and connect them both to a Drobo share. I asked Data Robotics, and the answer is yes. The real point of this story is that he liked his first Drobo so much, he wants a second one. My promo code Callie saves you $50 off at DroboStore.com. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Are you going? I was yawning when you started.